Hi, my name is Tori. I'm the editor of the I Do Wedding website, and this is I Do TV. There are no second chances when it comes to capturing images on your wedding day. So I'm here with photojournalist and photographer Daniel Griffiths, who's going to give us all the information we need about finding a good wedding photographer. Hi Daniel, how are you? Good, thanks. So tell us about the packages first with wedding photography. Packages can vary quite a lot. Um, packages vary in different ways, in time, uh, in the album, and what style of album. What parts of the wedding does a photographer actually capture? The photographer would capture the getting ready, the ceremony, uh, the photo shoot, and generally the reception. And what about what you get after the wedding? Do you get the disc? Do you get the album? After the wedding, it's very common to receive a disc of high-res photos, um, an album with a number of sides, and a few prints or canvases or framed photos. Now, what are the average costs these days to have a photographer shoot your wedding? The average cost these days could vary from two to five thousand, five to ten thousand. What does it include usually? Depending on the photography studio, it might include a photographer shooting till midnight, till the bridal waltz, till the end of the photo shoot, um, or you know an hourly rate. Okay, so they don't have to be there the whole day. No, no, not. It, it's really up to the bride and groom and what they feel comfortable with. So you can really find a good photographer to suit your budget. You might just have to only shoot certain parts of your day. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, so what questions would you be asking your wedding photographer if you were looking for someone to shoot your day? Questions I would be asking would be, do I receive the high resolution files? Who will be the photographer on the day? And how many pages are included in the album? So what are some of the trends we're seeing today with wedding photography? We're seeing a trend away from the old matted style. Uh, we're seeing a, a lean towards uh, photo books and art books and uh, just a, a magazine style, just different ways of, of displaying those photos. So a mix of posed and candid? Uh, a mix of posed and candid, obviously some posed photos, i.e. Like, uh, bridal party and, and family photos, um, and then a lot of uh, reportage candid during the getting ready, the ceremony and the evening. So the photo shoot itself after the ceremony can you know, take a long time. What are some tips to help save time there? Well, particularly in winter, it's quite common to do the photo shoot before the ceremony. So that way there's less gap and family and friends don't have to you know, kill time for five hours. Um, another idea is just to, just to be really clear with the drivers, with the company, um, let them know where we're going for the photo shoot and make sure they've, they've got all the addresses so everyone turns up at the expected time. Now, what is your favourite wedding photo and why? My favourite wedding photo, um, at the moment, would probably have to be a photo I took nearly two years ago in France. It's a photo of a couch with three couples. The couple on the left, um, it looks like the early, very early stages of the relationship. They've perhaps only met that night. The couple in the middle have probably been dating for a while, and the couple on the end, on the right-hand side, are quite clearly married. Um, it's the progression of life. So, Daniel, what makes a great photo? A great photo is, is a combination of factors. It's a, a bride and groom that are really relaxed, comfortable and enjoying themselves. It's lighting and timing and good locations and planning. And what's a standout wedding for you? A standout wedding is, is basically any wedding where people are having a good time and enjoying themselves. So how has technology changed photography in the last few years? Technology has changed photography in many ways. Um, clients can now view photos on the back of the camera on the day and this quite often relaxes them and um, they don't have to wait quite so long to see their images. And what about uh, wedding books? I'm seeing a lot of wedding books coming out. Does that mean that the traditional wedding album is soon going to be a thing of the past? The, the traditional matted style album uh, is, is somewhat dated these days. Uh, with, with photo books and magazine style albums, you can, you can do a lot more with the design and layout and, and actually use a lot more of the photos. So you, you can use more photos in a wedding book as opposed to 20 or 40 sides in an album? Generally, it depends on the layout and, and how many photos the client's uh, choosing. Um, and of course, the number of pages in the album is a, is a big factor as well. So tell me a little bit about photo retouching. Do a lot of the couples ask for photo retouching? Yeah, yeah, they do. And uh, look, it's really a case by case basis. Um, it de depends how comfortable you are in your own skin, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. My pleasure. To find out more about wedding photography, visit the I Do Wedding website. And until next time, happy planning.